Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, there's a follow-up video to our 628 amp hour watt cycle beast battery that I'm calling it. I've named it the beast, even the name in the uh, Bluetooth app. Uh, you remember when we took it out of the box the other day, it was only in the 60%, 62%, 63% range, somewhere in there. Uh, so I decided to hook it up and give it a full charge. So I used my uh, 20 amp hour watt cycle battery charger and it took like 13 hours for it to charge up or so, give or take. It charged overnight. I don't know exactly when it finished, but that's what the app said that it was going to take in order to finish the charging cycle. So now that we are at a 100% state of charge, I want to do the full discharge capacity test. Now this is going to take a while. All I have is this little um, battery capacity tester and it only draws a small amount of power. And this battery is just such a huge beast that it's going to take a while to see the true results of the capacity test. But let's get this thing hooked up. All right, guys, so I have the capacity tester set up and I've got it zeroed out so we can start the new test. Let's start turning this. This thing is really sensitive to get it right where you need it to be without overpowering it. You can only draw like so many watts. I think it's like 185 watts or something like that. I don't remember. Okay, so in here I've got it set where it's showing about 174 to 175 watts. It fluctuates a little bit. And here on the app, you can see it's showing 185. This is because it is drawing some power for the Bluetooth connection to connect with the iPad. So now we're just going to let it sit here. Uh, we're one minute and 54 seconds into the test so far. It's going to take forever. We're not going to sit here and watch it the entire time because this may take a couple of days for this to completely discharge this but we'll check back in periodically to see where its status is. Okay, and here you can see the discharge time to full is 46.5 hours. So yeah, like I said, it's gonna take a couple of days. Okay guys, it is about 30 hours later. It's the next day in the evening and uh, we're back up here and we're looking at uh, right now, we are still at 12.5 volts. Uh, still pulling 13.2 amps. It's actually dropped a little bit. It's only 165 watts being pulled right now. And we have currently pulled, oh, 392.45 amp hours. Uh, 4,993.97 watt hours for 30 hours of doing this. So let's uh, go into the app and see what the app is saying right now. All right, so let's go into the Watt Cycle app. We'll pick the 628 Beast. Connect Bluetooth, allow. All right, and there we go. We are now at 39%. It is still discharging. At this rate, it shows what 17, so you get that 17.9 hours left until full discharge. It shows us drawing 176.4 watts. Yeah, everything here is kind of coinciding. Oh, so looks like we're 13.1 volts here. We're here, we're showing 12.6, but this is kind of pulling a load too, so maybe it's not exactly accurate. But yeah, we still got guys almost 40% left in this thing. All right, so once again, we're gonna let it run overnight. You know, at least until, let's see, 17 hours. So um, it's, what, quarter to six right now? No, it's almost 6.30. So if we want to go 17 more hours, 6.30 in the morning would be 12. We need another four hours on top of that, right? Five hours. Another five hours on top of that. So that puts us at, like, almost noon, like 11.30 or so tomorrow, where uh, this should be finishing up the test. So we'll come back then. All right, guys, it is now the next day, almost 2 p.m. It's uh, what, 1, 149, according to my iPad, and the battery shows us 3% remaining. And uh, according to this, we've used 622 
622.74 amp hours. So we're getting pretty close. Now I'd actually turned down the consumption on the tester a little bit last night. I didn't mean to, I accidentally bumped one of the knobs. And when you get this really close to that borderline of where it's drawing the maximum it can draw, it doesn't take much. I mean, you one little teeny tiny touch of the knob and then it overloads it, it shuts it down. It keeps track of all the information, but then I've got to restart it. So uh, knowing that I wasn't gonna be able to get back over here early enough this morning, I'd actually went ahead and turned it down to about 150 watts instead of 175 watts. 185 is the max on this. And even then, twice, I've bumped it somehow and made it overload. And I'm not even near it, so I don't know. So I've turned it back down to a 150 watt draw right now. So it's still going to take some time before it gets down to zero. According to this, it's going to take one more hour until it's at zero. All right, guys, it's been well over an hour. It's now 326. It says we still have 1% left, but if you look at the uh, time till discharge, it's at zero. We are still at 12.1 volts. We're still drawing 154.5 watts. But here's the amazing part. When you look over here and you look at the capacity, we so far have drawn 643 amp hours on a 628 amp hour battery. So that's definitely passing the capacity test, but it's not done yet. It's just not done. We're gonna keep it running, see what our total is. All right guys, I left for a little bit. I came back, it is just after 5 p.m. now, and it has shut off. It says it is done. Total of 661.83 amp hours, 8,294 watt hours, Wow, pretty impressive. 52 hours, 18 minutes, and 40 seconds. So let's see if we can log back into the app and see what it shows there. Wow. Oh, and it's still showing 1%. Well, I think the app froze there because it's still showing 154 watts coming out let's see if we can refresh this let me close it completely all right and it is showing a zero no voltage, it's not showing anything. So right now the battery is basically disconnected. All right, so now putting the tester away and we are going to hook the battery charger back up to it, bring it back up to full charge. All right, the battery charger is running, but it hasn't registered that it's starting to charge yet. It may take a moment to reactivate the battery itself. All right, and actually the app froze. I closed the app and reopened it, and now we are showing charging. It is currently saying that it is gonna take 33 hours for it to fully charge. This is a kind of a small charger for this battery. We should be charging with about 60 amps or so. Well guys, in the last video, we took this thing apart. We saw the amazing build quality that WattCycle offers. In this video, we showed you the capacity and it is well above the rated capacity. You know, by all accounts, I have no reason to doubt that this is a very high quality unit that could be used in various applications. Me personally, I can't wait to be able to put this into use. I think I'm going to install this in Goliath and take out those two Chins batteries that are in there and just have the one battery, the one communication with my phone. And maybe that'll help fix some of the cycle balance issues I have. We'll go over that in a different video. Guys, I know that lithium batteries aren't for everybody, but if you've got an RV application and you need this kind of capacity and you want to build the 12 volt system, this may be the best bang for the buck. Durability, quality, and a good price, you can't go wrong. So I highly encourage you to check them out if this is what you're interested in. 
Right now, Watt Cycles got some amazing Black Friday sales going on. There will be links in the description below. You can use our code to get a discount and it does help the channel as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out Watt Cycle and until the next time I see you, keep those engines running.